and we're back to exploring Pika Labs. Let me show you one approach that you can use to create longer videos. I've got this one of a samurai and in the first video the arm ends kind of like on hip level. So I wanted to extend this and here's the finished result if I put the clips together in Premiere Pro. You can see the movement continues in the second clip. It's obviously not a usable shot but you can see that there is continuation. There's a little bit of a problem with the face and obviously the watermark gets lit up. So it's a good idea to remove the watermark or it's going to get doubled if you use this approach. And by the way, I've made a video about a watermark remover that you can use for Pika Labs. So check that out in my playlist. But I'm going to link to it and show this by the end of the video. Let us start with a new project from scratch. Maybe we'll use this one right here, a car driving in the street, vaporwave style. I'll upscale it and save it. Now we'll get back to Picolabs. We we'll use create, the basic prompt. Click on plus one more, then add this image. I will prompt it just car driving on street, AR 16 by nine. And we'll run this. Here's our finished result and by the end we have a red car coming into the frame. Let's download it. And now we want to isolate the last frame. You can do that in any video editing program but there's also this free final frame app. Just upload this video clip. It's set on the current clip. You can see it and it stops right here. There's the red car on the final frame. It shows you this. Download the final frame. We have it as a JPEG. Then check your video clip that you've downloaded. Check the name because it contains the seed, this long number. Copy it. And now we'll go back to Pika Labs. Well, let me rename our final frame here so that we don't get lost. This was the final frame. One. And now we'll get back to Pika Labs. Create yet again, plus one more. And now you use the final frame image right here. Then add your seed number. We want to add minus seed before it. It's the parameter that we use. And now I copy paste the original prompt with the aspect ratio in car driving on street. I'll paste it here and I run it. By the way, I also linked to the final frame app. And here's our finished result. The first clip ends where the red car comes into the frame and the second one starts there. It has the same style due to the seed. And now we can use, for example, Premiere Pro and import these two clips. Now let us chain them. And this was the second one and the other the first. And if you play this now, you can see that there is continuation. It's not a perfect solution. From time to time you get weird fragments. The colors, they change a little bit. You can see that the lighting maybe, especially on the car, has changed. And you have the watermark. So you want to remove that in your final clip or in every single fragment that you use. Both methods are valid. You can, for example, use this free one. I'm going to link to it, as I've said, and I've made a video about how to use it. It's called Online Watermark Remover by Bcut. It's free to use. But this is a process that you can use to create longer videos in Pika Labs. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.